Welcome everyone to the Sunday edition of the God Minute we call Breaking Open the Word. I'm Father Michael. Beloved of God, today we celebrate the final Sunday of our liturgical year known as the Solemnity of Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, or more commonly called Christ the King Sunday. You know, the gospel chosen for this Sunday is taken from the 18th chapter of John's gospel, verses 33 to 37. So let's just take a moment to place ourselves in the presence of the Lord to just calm our hearts and listen to this passage the Lord has for us today. So Pilate went back into the praetorium and summoned Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I'm not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king? Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A young boy was failing his studies and doing particularly poorly in math in the public school system, even though his folks tried everything to help him. Finally, they decided to enroll him in a Catholic school to see if he would improve. His parents were surprised to observe that the boy stopped his excessive watching of television, limited his time on the computer games, and spent most of his time studying. At the end of the year, he was the best student in class and received top honors in math. His baffled parents asked him what had happened. He replied, the first day I went to school and saw that man hanging on the plus sign at the main entrance of the school building, I knew they meant business here and there was no room for fooling around, especially in math. <laughs> well, Today, before we conclude our liturgical year of grace 2021 with this solemnity or solemn feast of Christ the King, I just want to thank you for being with us all year long. You know, as we look at today's uh, gospel reading, at first glance, it appears somewhat odd that the church would choose this particular passage on this great feast honoring Christ our King. But the passage makes it clear that the type of king Jesus is does not resonate with what we have come to know as king by definition and or experience in our world. You see, according to the dictionary, a king is a man uh, who is a ruler of an independent state, especially one who inherits the position by right of birth. Well, when speaking about Jesus, this king of ours reigns not from a royal golden throne, but from a cross. His crown is not bedecked with jewels, but one made of thorns stained with his blood. He does not rule over an independent state, but a dependent people, dependent on his love, his mercy, and his constant presence. And though as a man he is born of the house of King David, his genuine inheritance comes from God alone. His sacrifice is without measure, measure, 
and his reign is without end. We've been saved by the one who reigns as king of the universe. Let that settle in. As those for whom Jesus gave his life on the cross, we must resist the temptation to think we have no worth or no power or no effectiveness in our world. We must remember that we're a people of great faith and that the Lord has chosen us and our abilities to bring others to the kingdom, his kingdom. Like Christ, we must testify to the truth. And the truth alone comes from the voice of Jesus. You know, numerous individuals in our society will try and tell you many things and get you to try and believe in those things. In the past two years, we've experienced probably more than in all of our history, the manipulation of the truth. And everybody talks about my truth. Well, we've been asked to believe a lot of different things that just aren't true. These so-called truths are not tried and true as Jesus' truth. You see, the reason I know this is because when we testify to the truth of Jesus, we are truly free. And in recent times, from being locked in our homes to being held hostage at the gas station or grocery store, we've not felt really free at all, have we? Much of what we've heard in our society has only furthered the effort to bring fear and anxiety and division and judgment and grief. If we are to discern God's will for us and ready ourselves for the kingdom, we must know the truth, speak the truth, and live in the truth, not my truth, not your truth, the truth. We must always be ready to serve. We must always be ready to teach. We must always be ready to give, share, and boldly proclaim the values of our faith and the teachings of Jesus Christ. And in being ready, we must never be afraid to accomplish the work of God in our world. We must care for our brothers and sisters, especially the poor, the abandoned, the abused, those on the fringes of society. God's grace will give us courage to stand up for the weak, to comfort the sick, to heal the broken, to fight the good fight, and to reject all evil in our world, whatever form it takes, in order to bring truth, justice, love, and peace to every person in every land and nation. Brothers and sisters, look to the cross and the image of Christ our King crucified for us and for our salvation. Know that God means business and doesn't want us fooling around, but rather following the life-giving example of his Son. Let us never be afraid to be true disciples of Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. We must never give up, and by all means, we must never give in for the truth will set us free. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Next weekend, we begin a whole new liturgical year with the first Sunday of Advent. I pray you will continue to join us each day as we seek to grow in faith and holiness through this beautiful um, gift that we have of the God Minute. In the meantime, take good care of yourselves and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.